Oh god, that was terrible, my throat. What is up you guys, Million Dollar Jim here, back doing yet another Million Dollar video. Yesterday, I did a separate video, but I feel like I didn't bring on the energy, you know, for me being back after like four weeks of being gone. Why I was gone, it's a lot, dude. I'm trying to get a lot of stuff together for uh, my new rebranding I'm trying to do to my own channel. And also, my car I broke down, it costs a lot of money, so I gotta pay for that to get it fixed. It still is not fixed yet. It's taking a while, but I'm trying to get that together so I can get back on the road. I'm trying to go. Like last year, you know, last summer, I grew a lot, right? A lot. I did. I kind of like quadruple, tuple, duple, luple my whole entire channel. It went from like 4K to like. 50k, 40k, but this time I'm trying to go like past 100k, dude. I'm trying to explode, man. I have my goals I'm trying to accomplish. I can't do that without you guys, so thank you for showing the support and um, keep you know sharing, liking, and follow me on my social media down description below. But yeah, so let's get to the video. So today I have something that could be a little creepy, something that's a little scary. Now I thought about the th I thought about not doing this because. This is some crazy shit. And you might have some people that be like, oh, uh, religion and all, all this kind of stuff, because people don't like to talk about religion on YouTube. But I'm not really, this is not something I believe in. I don't know, but you guys, I'm here trying to show you guys this. Like, yo, like, look at this. Like, this is actual, actually some reasonable stuff here in this, <laughs> here in this list. And, but, I mean, people do, like, little Ouija board videos, which I think 95% of them are fake. But still, I mean, you know, it falls into the same category. So today I have something. This is no ordinary list. This is a list of the 11 <laughs> satanic devil commandments. Okay, now I do not, I am not a devil worshiper <laughs> at all. Like, I, don't, I don't worship the devil. I listen to hardcore metal music. Yes, because it's my taste. I listen to uplifting gospel music too. I listen to everything, dude. Literally everything. Now, does that make me a devil worshiper? No, I will not worship the devil. Not, 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 no, 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 never, never, never. Never, I will never worship negative energy. But I do hear from people that um, are familiar with um, sat satanic worship that it's not something that's evil. It's not at all. It's, it's something totally different. So here, I'm gonna read you guys and I'm gonna react to this little list that we have here. So we're gonna start with number one. Number one says, do not give opinions or advice unless you are asked. See, now, now reading that, I totally agree 100%. All right, Jose, what do you like to eat? Uh, fish, macaroni and cheese. It's cheese. Listen, white boy, nobody fucking asks. I totally agree with that 100% because yo, like you ever like be in class or be like in a workspace and someone just be like giving their opinion about yourself or about something that you know and you didn't even ask me looking at them like, like, what? Like, boy, that even happened. There's been so many times when I would be talking to someone and someone would butt in with their opinion that I never asked them for. And you just wanna, you know, it gets to the best of it that happens sometimes, but hey, it is what it is. So let's go to number two. Number two says, dude, do, <laughs> do not tell your troubles to others unless you are sure they want to hear them. Which, then again, that, that makes sense too, because look, now, I'm tired of people like, I I'm taking it away as like, don't tell your problems to someone. Like if they don't want to hear them, like if someone's about something positive, right? They're trying to be on a, on a focused like tunnel vision to success and you're over here trying to bring your rainy cloud constantly on them. No, I, I agree with that. Cause if I already gave you advice one time, bro, and you keep coming back, I'll give you advice that goes through one ear out the other. You're not paying attention to what I'm trying to tell you. And there's a lot of people in this world that are like that. A lot of people, you can, they, they can, they can, you can give them the most best advice in the world, dude. The most best advice ever, right? And they'll sit there and be like, yeah, you're right, man, you're right. Yeah, bro. So you think they got their big boy pants on, their thinking cap on, and they're about to conquer the world, but nope! The next day, they're in their bed sobbing, crying, sad as hell, because they didn't listen to what you told them yesterday. So, hey, you know what, bro? I, yes, bro, check that. I agree with that 100%. Number three, went in another person's home, show them respect, or else do not go there. What? Say no more, bro. Yes. This is when I can hear all the girls in the back room saying yes. Yes. Sometimes I remember. I know when I was a kid, when I had people come over, a lot of times like I would have friends that will come over. I'll let them in for the first time. And they'll just go in my refrigerator. What you got in the fridge? Is <laughs> grabbing food. My favorite snacks. Look, I'm I'm not a selfish guy. I think I think about my friends all the time, right? But there's some things I am selfish with. Some things. My food. Come on. Come on, bro. My candy, I'm so Anything that's edible, I'm selfish. Like, I'm not about to share with you. Don't ask me. Don't ever in your life disrespect me like that. Like, don't ask me for my food. No. Don't ever ask me for my food. Um, anything else, like, I really don't care about sharing, but when it comes to my food, like, no. Don't ask for that. Never. Um, number four. <laughs> number four. If a guest is in your home, annoys you, treat them cruelly and without mercy. Now that... I, I can't agree with bro. Like if someone's in my house and they're annoying me, I'm not going to tie them up to a wall and cut their nipples off and feed it to them. Like I'm not 
<laughs> I'm not gonna do anything crazy like that, cause that's like some next level stuff. Yes, people get annoying all the time, and they get annoying, you confront them like, yo, stop pissing me off. And they keep pissing you off, just kick them out. Just hold them up like this, right? So this is them, just, ah! Just kick them out, just like that. That's all you gotta do. And then you just grab them by their head, put, grab, put them in a headlock, grab them by their hair, just, ah! Take their head out, just like that. Uh, number five, do not make sexual advances unless you are given the mating signal. Yes, yes, most definitely. Most definitely, you know, learn when someone says no, no means no. I definitely agree with that, right? Like, yes. And the mating signal you guys are wondering is, is someone saying that yes, they want to mate with you or that yes, they want to have sex with you. If the person, guy or girl, girl if the girl says no, or guy too, because I'm almost was a victim of that, so guys too, if they say no, then they say no. They don't want to do it. It's that simple. You guys know I'm a virgin. So. I don't portray in this activity, but shoot, if I don't want to do it with you, I'm not about to do it. It's just not going to happen. Like, we're not going to get in that topic. But yeah, it's just not going to happen to me, so nice try. Number six, do not take that which does not belong to you unless it is a burden to other people and they cry out to be relieved. Now that, I can also agree with. Now, don't steal from people, right? Do not steal at all. Say, for example, your friend's a drug addict, right? You steal the drugs from your friend so he doesn't do it. That makes sense, too. You try to get him on a better, so, you know, I can, no, bro, I, I, I'm, I'm effing with this, bro. I'm effing with this, this list so far. I'm not, a, don't look at me like I worship the devil. I don't. But this list is, it's pretty logical, bro. Like, I, I definitely agree with it so far. Number seven, <laughs> acknowledge the power of magic. Okay, no, that's, that's not about to happen. <laughs> Is, no, bro, I'll pass on that. That's not about to happen. Acknowledge the power of magic if you have. I can't even read this fully. Okay, <laughs> if you have employed it successfully to obtain your desires, if you deny the power of magic after having called upon it with success, you will lose all you have obtained. No, I'm disagreeing with that. No, that's not about to happen. I'm not about to sit here and do witchcraft and blood sacrifices and freaking. Uh, sacrifice rabbit heads and no. All right. So number eight, do not complain about anything to which you need not subject yourself. What can this mean? I'm thinking that it means do not complain about anything that is not in your control. That's what I'm taking it as. Which I can see why someone will complain about something that's not in their control. Like I, I complain about how my car broke down. That's not in my control. So I mean, I don't really know what's wrong with that, but. Hey. Number nine, do not harm young children. Now, of course, like. Why would you want to harm harm young children? I'm pretty sure, you know, no one wants to harm young children or else you're a sick bastard. And for that, you deserve to be pinned to a tree and let people freaking take uh, tweezers and tweeze the flesh off your skin for 10 hours straight. I think it's fair. Um, number 10, do not kill non-human animals unless you are attacked or for your, or for your food. You know, animals going extinct, bro, pandas. We love pandas, I love pandas. Pandas are awesome. Pandas are cute, right? Not all the time. Sometimes they want to kill you and rip your head off. But for the most part, pandas are cute, bro. Pandas are got some. I just want to hug a panda sometimes, man. Number eleven. When walking over territory, bother no one. If someone bothers you, ask them to stop. If you do not stop, destroy them, bro. <laughs> Yo, I, I can't read this without me thinking. <laughs> if they do not stop, destroy them. Like, <laughs> that's what's in my head right now. Like, I'm thinking like some like demonic voice. They do not stop, destroy them? So you're saying kill them? If someone keeps pushing me and they won't stop, right? You tell them, bro, if they're not stopping, you got me guys, steal the mess out of them one time, bro. Punch them. Steal is like, a, it's a term for it. It's DMV slang. I don't know if you guys use it anywhere else. It means punch, right? I agree with that. Because sometimes people want to be annoying and they want to constantly push you around, right? Constantly. We can't be taking that crap. Well, that's pretty much that video. I would put up a picture right here, right? So you guys can look at this and let's put a link down. Cause this is some crazy shit. And I'm not a saying this. I hope you guys aren't either. I just kind of, I can relate to this. It's not, it's reasonable. It's logical. Appreciate you guys for watching and tuning in. My pranks are coming soon. Uh, all my social media in the description box down below and in the end card of this video. Be sure to leave a big like and share with all of your friends. Cause this is a crazy list. No one's ever talked about it on YouTube. Probably the first one to do it. So let's share it with everyone. Um, reaction channel also in the description box below, which also gonna be becoming a gaming channel soon. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. 100K, we're coming. I'm trying to hit 10K on Instagram too. Wow, she is actually pretty cute. Thanks for love and support. Million Dollar Dream sign up for yet another million dollar video. If you aren't following dreams, what are you doing? I'm out. Peace. I watch how the moon sits in the sky on a dark night, shining with the light from the sun. The sun doesn't give light to the moon, assuming the moon's gonna bow with one.
Yo, the scary part about the, the, the most scariest part about this video is not even reading what it said on the commandment list, but knowing the fact that how when people talk about spirits and people watch the stuff online and through a screen, how allegedly they can travel through the screen and the spirits can get to you. That's the scary part. Hopefully it doesn't happen to me. You know, it won't though. It won't. Never will. I'm invincible. I'm, I'm invincible. I'm invincible. Ah! So no. Gotcha. Vlog niche. Vlog something soon. Pranks coming soon. July. We coming for you. We coming for you, boy!